market uptake in general, especially linked to electrification. Thank you very much. Um, I get confused because you said Bernard, so I was just maybe it was no, no. Bernard. <laughs> Bertrand. No, it's Bertrand. 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 <laughs> no, no, problem. It's not the <laughs> first time. No, and uh, very happy to be with you today. And uh, and yes, I think my first point will be that, uh, well, those plans they are useful, right? They, they could lead to practical realization in the real world. And one example uh, I would like to give is a few hours ago we uh, with uh, with an ed with an edis actually we uh, we. Um, uh, we reveal uh, a new switch gear called uh, RSM headset, uh, which is basically a medium voltage switch gear without SF6. And actually, that has been, I mean, the first, let's say, um, deployment or uh, experimentation has been funded uh, by the EU uh, through the LIFE project, right? Which is mm -hmm. a bit different from Horizon, but that comes from the same kind of. Um, uh, 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 channel, if I may say, like that. So that means that, you know, um, in Europe, uh, we can definitely uh, find ways to transform ideas, uh, research into practical realization uh, for the good of uh, the, com the competitiveness of industry. That's my first statement. Second statement is, I think, um, what um, we are talking about today is super important because energy has never been so important for Europe. I mean, we have seen uh, what has uh, been the impact of the war uh, in Ukraine on energy prices and uh, the consequences on the competitiveness on the industry, which is really due to uh, uh, the lack of energy sources and uh, inflation in Europe. And that's why we really need uh, the competitiveness and to regain uh, innovation uh, on energy and especially from a uh, uh, sustainability side. So electrification, absolutely critical. I mean, you know, uh, and I think someone said before, I think a lot of things has been done on the supply side. Uh, actually, uh, I think we know the uh, big uptake, uh, solar, but also wind in the last two years. But I think indeed there is an issue about, uh, first, are we going to uh, be efficient enough when we are going to manage these new sources of supply? And, and second thing, which is even more obvious, do we have a demand for it, right? And this is the reason, this is the reason why it's super important indeed that we look at electrification at end use size. And, and that means, you know, like uh, flexibility, as uh, it was mentioned, uh, but uh, also like what are the, the innovation ne needs that Europe has. Um, uh, just to give you an example, um, a, a few years ago, I mean, Schneider, as other uh, industry in Europe, uh, used to be market leaders in one of the technology called inverter, which is, you know, inverter, this is a, the piece of, uh, of device you use to convert the DC into AC within a, a building or an asset. Uh, and that's particularly relevant uh, for solar, obviously. But increasingly, you would have the EV charging station, you would have your heat pump that are going to first uh, uh, be uh, sustained with uh, DC. Uh, so uh, therefore, you need really to think about how you deploy those inverter and how also you kind of diminish the number so in the end of the day, we break the innovation in such a way that instead of having many inverters, you have only one for the different uh, DC usage. And actually, uh, this is a market that has been uh, taken to a large part by Chinese players, right? Mm -hmm. And then we have this perspective of looking at ways to have um, a new solution, a single solution, uh, which could be applied for the different DC usage, right? And, and this is typically something uh, where I think, you know, we still have no o and the uh, market leader in Europe and, and where we need to invest big times, right? So, um, but that means obviously a bit of research, but a lot of deployment and scaling up, right? Because it does, it does not like, you know, um, uh, um, doesn't require a lot of, of research. It's again more about scaling up uh, the, the, the deployment of such device, right? And, and so I think when it comes to the set plan, it's super important that this plan is really looking at prioritization and, and to look at really where Europe can have such market leadership. I would say the second aspect of your question, which I want to take all, is about. Um, um, the, the, the market condition, right? And I think it has been said by a, a few speakers, which is it's, it's not only about research innovation, it's also about how you set up the right market condition so that the technology could scale up, right? 
And that's particularly true for uh, flexibility. I want to give one example, which is we actually have a partnership with a, a, a NESCO energy services company called Green Yellow in France, which basically we at Schneider, we provide the technology, uh, the microgrid technology, which are made of uh, EV charging station, heat pump, uh, building management system. We don't necessarily manufacture all of them, but we provide a turnkey solution to the customers. And Green Yellow is bringing the, uh, let's say, the financial engineering and the energy performance contract, which give financial insurance to customers. But today, this is a market which is super difficult to scale up, right? For different reasons. It could be uh, access to market. It could be actually uh, the EPC, how you uh, uh, foresee the financial risk you, you are taking. And this is where I think a plan like the set plan needs to also look at is how to improve uh, uh, the, um, the deployment of such business model, right? And my last point, uh, when it comes to uh, deployment and market uptake, I would say digitalization. I think it's part of one of the one of the priorities that has been presented by Mark, but it's so important, right? Because it's about innovation, it's about user friendliness, and and I think my company has really invested big time uh, on digital twin, on Beam, on a lot of uh, those devices. But in a way. Digitization should not be one of the priority. It should be everywhere, right? Because I think this is what also the end user need, and this is barely needed for uh, making the grids uh, much more flexible and uh, much more innovative, right?